Okay, we're going to do a chapter on um, weighing and measuring. Um, and so we'll be looking at um, weighing. Let's go to the objectives for, uh, for weighing residents, um, measuring them, their height, um, and identifying fluid me uh, measurements. So intake and output, what fluids go in and what fluids go out. So let's talk about weighing first. So um, I'm right over a toilet, so let me move myself. So it's best to weigh the person the same time every day with an empty bladder. So usually we get up in the morning, go to the bathroom, and then weigh themselves. Um, and you may be doing this at home and having to document it or send it, um, have it for a nurse and or a doctor. There's even these um, scales that hook up right up to the doctor's office or at least some kind of computer that will tell a doctor if you're weighing, uh, gaining too much weight. And why are these measurements important, especially the weight? Um, and the reason it would be hooked up to a doctor's office is if people are retaining fluid, which weight gain, fluid retention, it, um, is also called edema. It's usually two from two different things, could be others, but it's usually from heart disease or kidney disease. Okay, so the heart's not pumping good enough, the kidneys can't process the, or the kidneys can't process the fluids to get out in urine. Okay, so um, weight also has to do with what you're eating and diet, but when we're gaining weight in a short period of time, like three days, um, then you may have to, or the patient may have to call a doctor's office because they're, um, and this is usually with heart failure, we call it, but they're retaining all the weight. And as you can see, the person is pressing their fingers in and all of this is edema and it's called pitting edema. It actually leaves an indentation till the water disperses itself. Um, water does weigh more than fat um, or muscle. Okay, so um, that's the usual cause is heart or kidney disease of a rapid water gain. Okay, what could cause um, you to lose weight is a loss of appetite. So illness, um, upset, nervous, lonely, if you've got some bad diseases such as cancer or the medications for it, the chemotherapy, HIV, but really any um, illness could cause you to lose your appetite. And many side effects of medicines can be that. So one of the things um, that you'll do is a nurse assistant working in a hospital won't have to do here, but you, you just never know is that the pounds, um, we in the United States weigh ourselves in pounds. The most of the world weighs themselves in kilograms. So um, there it is there. So you need to know that um, for this test, 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. You can look at your notes, but just know, usually if you're weighing in kilos, you're going to be about half the weight that you would be in pounds, okay? So a 100-pound person, 45 pounds. It's less than half, but you could kind of uh, get the idea. Okay, um, so uh, there's some exercises for you to convert um, pounds to kilos, but if this person, example, weighs 228 pounds, and one pound equal or one kilo equals 2.2 pounds, you're going to divide 228 divided by 2.2. Now you could use your calculators, but dividing that by 2.2 comes up to 103.6 kilos. Now, if you're going from kilos, two pounds, you're going to multiply. So um, if someone's 55 kilos, so the kilos are always going to be less, you're going to multiply by 2.2. And what answer would that be is 121 pounds. Um, on your phone, just to give you, there's co converters right there. You could Google it. Um, and then for us, we're going to measure, we in the United States use heights, but this is confusing for other people that use the metric system because one foot equals 12 inches. So in, in the rest of the world, in the metric system, it's in multiples of 10, which makes a lot more sense and is a lot easier math. 
So um, if someone says in this, in, in our country, um, that they're five foot six inches, that means they're five foot, so you're gonna multiply five by 12, which would be 60, and then add the six inches. It's like the old fashioned division of remainder of six. Um, okay, fluids we do measure, and you may or may not as a caregiver, but um, sometimes the doctors are you know, there to watch the patient, so they're trying to keep a fluid intake of how much they drank. Okay, and this is called in the healthcare world, I's and O's. Uh, it's I and O, got cut off there. And how many, um, so if a person, so the conversions are, let me go down here, um, one ounce equals one mil, uh, 30 milliliters. So 30 mLs equal one ounce. So if we're drinking something like a cup of coffee here that was eight ounces, we're going to multiply eight times 30. Now, if they drank two cups of coffee, you could do it a multiple ways, but we're probably going to do eight ounces times two, 16 ounces, and multiply the 16 by 30. However, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably do eight times 30 is 240, and then another eight times 30 is 240. It's just easier math than me because it's less than 10. Um, okay, and then there's, um, we may also measure urine output, and I'm not gonna show these on this film, but they're in your modules, how to assist with the bedpan, and then measure urine output from, the, from a bedpan. And you need something with a measuring device on it. Okay, so summary here, here, uh, key points, accurate measurements to determine changes in health and especially fluid retention, kidney, heart or kidney problems, right? Sudden weight gain, heart or kidney problems. And what might cause the appetite? Just someone being sick, side effects of medicine, um, cancer, um, and then how do we convert one kilo equals how many pounds? 2.2 and one foot equals 12 inches. Short one for chapter six.